Hello guys, you join me here in my kitchen. Uh, as you have seen in the title, I'm going to be making like a harvest beet recipe. And this recipe is delicious. I could eat the whole batch in like one sitting, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat it in two days though. Okay, let's get into this video on how to make this harvest delicious beet recipe. What you're going to need is like a medium to large pot. Uh, you're going to need two cans of beet. You're going to need to drain the juice from both cans. You can use pickled or sliced beets. It doesn't really matter. I tried it both ways. I tried using like one can of sliced, one can of light pickle. It doesn't matter. It tastes the same. Uh, what you're also going to need to use it or have is a fourth a cup of the beet juice. So you want to measure out like a fourth a cup of the juice that's inside this can. Put it in like a bowl and then just drain and throw away the rest of the juice because you're not going to need it. And then you're also going to need a half a cup of sugar, you're going to need a tablespoon of flour, a half a cup of white vinegar, and then you're going to need to have um, half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Now, if you don't have unsalted butter and you only have salted butter, you can actually just like not even use the half a teaspoon of salt and just use the salted butter and that should be okay but yeah that's it that's everything you're gonna need so like i said i already went ahead and i drained the juice from this and i measured out a fourth a cup uh of the beet juice and now in my saucepan i'm going to add my sugar adding in my sugar and the flour and the vinegar and your fourth a cup of beet juice and now what you're going to want to do is cook this on low heat and like mix it up um, occasionally, kind of like stir it. And you want to kind of get this thick. And once this has thickened, then we're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. So I just finished uh, cooking this on low to medium heat. This took about like 15 minutes, I would say 10 to 15 minutes. And I wanted to show you guys like what kind of consistency you're needing. Do you see like how that's a lot more um, thicker? So now after you have simmered this from for 10 to 15 minutes you're going to now want to add in your beets half a teaspoon of salt your two tablespoons of butter unsalted butter i want to stir and simmer this for another 10 minutes and you want to do that uh on low heat okay that was it i just finished uh simmering that for like 10 minutes and it's gotten really thick and it smells good it looks so good. This is what it should look like once you're done with it. But let's try it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you guys make the beats as well and try them because they're so good. Go ahead and check out my previous video online on YouTube. And yeah, all my social media links will be down below. And I'll also put the recipe down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for another video. Bye!